Hi, this is Melanie and Pardesi Reviews, and I'm joined again with Kathy of Cinemanda Podcast. And today <laughs> we're going to talk about her very first Rajnikanth film, Palapati. <laughs> so, so it was a really hard job to think about okay how how do you introduce the man the leg legend um yes. Raj Kant. and mm -hmm. i think um you know yes he's all about kind of he just has just like his shtick of, of in these action movies where he flips a cigarette into his mouth or he, he just <laughs> so i mean he just has this presence like if he just sits in a chair and crosses his leg like the crowd goes crazy like he just has this incredible screen presence but I did want to show you one of the films where I feel like, okay, he's legit, just straight acting great. And also yeah. Tony Rottenham, which I think I have mentioned before, yeah. is one of my favorite directors. So this mm -hmm. is a film from 1991, and it means Commander. Now, the first time I saw this, I had no idea that it's meant to be a modern retelling of part of the uh, Mahabharata. So it's Karna mm. and Duryodhana. <laughs> their friendship in the saga. So the things okay. that Rajakant's character goes through of having a teenage mother that abandons him, of being adopted by another family, of growing up very different, and then finding out later that the people he's been fighting against are actually his brother, you know? So, yeah. so all of that is in the Mahabharata, but then he's made, Mani Ratnam has made it Mani, uh, you know, modern day. He was searching for a project that would, Rajakant was already a superstar, like to convince him to work with him, right? Like something compelling enough to get him to agree to do a project with him. And so like when doing Karna's story from Karna's point of view, that was what, what, and also just like, it's to me, it's an amazing cast. Like you already, yeah. I know you're already a fan of Mamuti. So just to have, yeah. have the two. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> it was very different. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what was your first impressions of seeing this film? I mean, it's from back in 1991. So if this is whatever, over 30 years old at this point. Right. God, that's amazing. That's so long ago. <laughs> oh my God. Um, <laughs> So I try not, like when I'm watching these movies, I try not to know a lot about them. When you suggested it, all I knew was basically the actors that were in it. Right. And um, basically that's it. So I didn't get a lot of background because I could sort of like to see how are they going to tell me the story. Now, sometimes that backfires because knowing the information I have found out from you and, and later, it a lot of more context probably would have helped. <laughs> not that it didn't, it didn't hurt the movie, but it's nice to know that extra context. Right. I didn't know it the first time either. It like adds a layer of meaning. I feel like it's it does. Like, it's not the whole yeah. thing, but it kind of no. adds another layer to it. And it's sort of like you said, it kind of uh, it kind of gives that movie that extra, like, this is why it was kind of a radical film at the time, which I didn't know. So, but anyway, I started watching it. It seems so much older than 91. Like, and, and that's sort of happening, like, even when you look at photos from, like, back in the 80s or what it was like, it looks like it's yeah. the 50s. Like, it's just, like, amazing. So, yeah. it was a little more primitive. As, you know, it, it was, it's clearly, like, the film industry has leaps and bounds gotten more polished but at the same time i think as you were as i was watching it going oh this is kind of rough you know it was like felt very gritty the film quality like the the film quality is kind of grainy it just felt kind of really maybe it was the print i saw but i don't yeah it felt I a lot watching, older you know, i was watching a print and i'm like i was wondering what would people who experience this in a theater yeah. i was wondering if you know am i just watching yeah. a print that's not the absolute best um you know, yeah. from the master kind of thing. So I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to tell yeah. because, I mean, the cinematographer, his name is Santosh Shivan, and he has, is a national award winner. Like, to okay. me, I feel like so many scenes are like paintings almost, you know? Yes. I mean, yeah. there's the image, um, Rasha Khan's character's name is Surya. It means the sun in the Mahabharata yeah. epic. Yeah. He is the son of he that Karna is the illegitimate son of the sun god. So he is the son of Surya. So that's another link to that. But um, and so there's all these scenes, you know, with him having the sun in the back, you know, when I was reading yeah. the Wikipedia article, all these how they had to, you know, do the shooting at dawn and whatever to be able to get some of those sites, mm. you know, the just wanting to have the sun at the exact right place in the sky for certain scenes yeah. and everything um but and so i i just 
And I also like, they said like the first part of the film is in black and white. And that was mm -hmm. a choice to immediately tell the audience, this is a flashback, this is a prologue, right? You know, this is separate. And then when, you know, the color change just comes in, okay, we're like, oh, okay, now we know we're modern day. So, right. um, which was uh, confusing because I thought, how old is this movie? When I started watching it, I'm like, yeah. black and white. <laughs> what the hell like i'm like what how old is this <laughs> so, so as i'm watching it the first time and then i, I appreciated the flair later <laughs> but it was like oh. and that was a great scene i loved the scene where baby's on the train yeah it's pulling away and she's like no way uh and then i love how the kids find it they rescue yeah. it then it's put in the river and it's like that was great. So beautifully, you know, like how lost and how far away this baby was. From where right, was. right. And that was fantastic. And you were just like, it was so stressful. I mean, <laughs> nothing worse than babies like in peril. Baby from inside the train, you're seeing the baby. Oh, so and you yes. can see her run, running, running, like just, ah. yeah. Oh, it gives me chills thinking about it. That was so well done. Um, so I love that. And, you know, it's that classic too. I mean, I guess they had it in KGF too. Not to even compare this to KGF, but right. with the, the orphan who's in the slums and he befriends like, you know, the powerful, you know, organized criminal, you know, right. it's like, I love that idea. And it, I guess Goodfellas in a way, you know, <laughs> it's like well, you ingratiate yeah. yourself. It's the classic story of like, they don't know any better. They just want to have a family. It's like, I guess any gang. So he joins right. up with this guy. It's amazing. Right. So I love the setup. Amazing. So once it started kicking into that, I was hooked. <laughs> there I was in it. So yeah. good. And I, it was cool seeing these actors. I mean, I hadn't seen any of these actors in these older movies. So it was amazing to see, you know, Rajankant and, and Mahmoodi younger. And then, right. you know, acting together was great. And it's just these two powerful, because they both control scenes they're in. So it's funny to see them in scenes together. It's kind of like, <laughs> I don't know who to look at. They're both so great. Right. When they ha we're having that confrontation, that kind of those first confrontations together oh, yeah. and both of them are just, you're like, this could go either way. <laughs> I don't know who to root for. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> you know? Right. They both seem very intense, right. <laughs> but I, I, I love that. Just the strength of those scenes was really, really powerful. And, and you know, it just, there's something about these older kind of gangster movies that they just feel more real almost to me in a weird way. Yeah. It, it, I don't know. There's just something very authentic about it. So as I'm watching it, I really felt yeah. pulled in. It was really, really cool. Even though the um, the fight scenes, it's much more yeah. of that kind of slap, kind of whoa! I saw that fist yeah. miss the chin, kind yeah. of. Yeah, fight of scenes weren't great. <laughs> and it was that slapping sound that was just used over and over. They didn't even try and make it sound like it was a different hit. It was just like smack, yeah. smack, smack. Almost like those right. old, like you know, kung fu movies. <laughs> yeah. It's like not good. So even though it's like that, I mean, I even so, it's just kind of, um, you know, I mean, the stakes are so high. Like, for instance, yes. you know, he kill, Roger Kent kills a guy, and then mm -hmm. you see that guy's wife have a baby, mm -hmm. and Mamuti is naming the baby and hands him the hands Raj yeah. the baby and he had like oh. looked at the picture on the wall and he's like oh sh <laughs> like oh he's man like, oops <laughs> yeah he's like oh this is familiar I, know, know, like that this, was I don't know just like the the stakes felt so high with everything yeah. you know and and um I don't I don't mean in a black and a black and white way like that everything was yeah. um and you know they're just I don't yeah I mean it's like they're really grappling with the police are corrupt, yeah. whatever, you know, yeah. and, and we're just trying to make our way and just real um, conflict instead of, okay, everything is just a shootout with bullets and, you know, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like it doesn't even feel real. Um, right. I thought and the violence felt kind of beside the point. Like, I feel like as, as most movies, violence is the whole, whole thing, you know, and the relationships and like you're saying, the stakes are kind of the background and the reason for the violence here. I felt like it was a reverse. And that was, what was kind of refreshing is that, yeah, the fight scenes weren't great, but that sort of wasn't the point of the movie where it was not the action scenes and the fight scenes, even though, I mean, they were fun to watch, but it was, it felt more like, yeah, yeah. But the, the really heavy duty lifting was not the fight scenes. It was everything behind the fight scene. And that was, what was kind of nice, that balance, uh, putting, right actual physical violence in the background of the actual real, the violence that's going on with maneuvering and the lies and the, the corruption and everything else that, that I liked. I liked that, that redistribution yeah. of expectation. And obviously this is a movie really about this male friendship and about, 
Rajnikanth dealing with the fact that, uh, you know, okay, I'm a, I'm a bastard. I don't even know who my parents are. Like yeah. multiple scenes of the police and who is your father and who is your mother? Yeah. You know? Yeah, and just like okay, I'm not going to answer you again. <laughs> you know, I don't know. But, you know my answer, <laughs> right? But instead of just having that, okay, it's a given. Mm -hmm. I think the scene when his mother—I mean, there's multiple scenes leading up, like the tension of it. You know, you know he's going to yeah. meet his mother again once we see yeah. um, Kalyani again. You know, as Arjun's mother. Um, yeah. But when, you know, her husband realizes, you know, there's just most of like when he realizes, okay, this could be the kid, like, I can't put him yeah. in jail, this could be the kid. And then when the mother, this just a scene with Rajnikanth, like I read in the Wikipedia, like he had to have another day, you know, told the director, I need another day, like to prepare because it was such an emotional, yeah. everything is on his face, seeing him deal yeah. with it. Here he had just had all this anger all of his life. Okay, my mother saw that I was dark, so she threw me away. Yeah. Um, and just mm -hmm. not even thinking of the other side, right? Like <laughs> his, his mother's husband says yeah. that she was 14, 13, 14 years old. What could she do? Yeah. You know, what could yeah. she do? And, yeah. um, and just like realizing, okay, this woman did weep for me every day. Like, how can I how can I yell at her? How can I rail at her that yeah. she ruined my life or whatever? I did have a mother that yeah. raised me. So, but also mm -hmm. then when he sees the difference of look at his brother, his yeah. brother is this, you know, government official and he's <laughs> like, and I'm living in the slums, right? Like yeah. it's just, yeah. um, it's mm -hmm. interesting. So in the Mahabharata story, Karna's death is a major thing that happens and it's this big tragic but also him dealing with the fact that his mother had given him away is a major part yeah. of it I guess but yeah. instead Mani Ratnam gives it a happy ending right like his mother is yeah. like no I'm gonna stay with I'm gonna stay with your brother <laughs> like, Arthur, you get on the train we're, we're staying here <laughs> so yeah. it's, like, it's like a like, okay, we're gonna make our <laughs> ending here a little bit <laughs> People have died along the way. Like, That's true. It's like it's all good. Everything's fine. Yeah, we'll be okay. Okay. I mean, you know, and he didn't get the wife that he wanted. His brother, yep. the wife that he wanted. Yep. By the way, that was Shobana. But if you wondered why she didn't sound the same, because yeah. he didn't speak Tamil, I guess, well enough oh. for the film. So she was actually dubbed by Suhasini, who is an, a good actress in her own right, but also Mani Ma, the director's wife. So she was oh. uh, by another actress. So that's why she didn't <sighs> sound the same. <laughs> sound the same. <sighs> yeah, because so we cool. just talked about her in the uh, in the uh, Mohanlal film. So, so um, but I just thought. That's she, funny. I mean, she was so young. she was four years younger than that movie that we saw I think together and so and she just I thought she was so good even if we it wasn't her voice I thought yeah yeah you know she's like you could just see this captivation but she like she knows I really shouldn't like this guy he's a gay <laughs> <laughs> we love the bad boys I can't help it <laughs> you know? and he's just like yeah oh, look I cut that guy's hand off what are you gonna do <laughs> I did that for you. <laughs> Look at these grand gestures that I have for you. It's like, thanks. I guess you must really love me. <laughs> so funny. And the, the guy that played Arjun, the, the younger brother that's the government yeah. official, this was actually his film debut. So ah. that actress' name is Arvind Swami. He went on to do, you know, Roja and other big films after this, but it was interesting that this was his film debuted like someone now who is a really big star you know would became a big star and again it's like you look back and it's like oh my god all these people were in this movie together isn't that wild so, wild. <laughs> so, so crazy i did uh, love that scene there were a couple things you're talking about how the mother you know that she was that she thought he was too dark-skinned and so he had to she had to get rid of him and then there's that just painful scene where that kid is like yeah she gave up her baby because and she's having to hear that and going yeah. it's that that's what people are saying. Oh, this is not. I mean, it was so sad to hear it because the kid doesn't right. know. That's a terrible thing to say. She's right. saying it. And so she's like, hmm. And then the scene where she sees that cloth was just like, oh, my God. 
just chilly chills yeah. too. It's it like, oh my god, it's coming! It's happening! <laughs> it <was> like, <laughs> you're waiting this whole time for this to be them to figure this shit out. Uh, it was so good. I love that scene. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I mean, there's just really, um, I don't know. There's just so much, like you say, this film has a lot of violence, but that's really not what the film is about. It's about yeah. all these relationships and just these tragic stories. Mm -hmm. And people that were trying to do the best they could at the time and whatever. And and yeah. I don't know. It, it's just, uh, there's something about this film. I mean, yeah. to me, I hear what you're saying about it feeling like an old timey. Um, and <laughs> maybe a older son sometimes. But for me, it's one of the, um, one of my favorite films of Money Rotten a Minute. It just feels like a masterpiece yeah. to me. Because especially just the acting of Rajnikanth, I feel like so many other mm -hmm. films we're just seeing him you know do his shtick do his thing which i enjoy like i'm there whistling yeah. screaming along with everybody else he earned it yeah we'll right. let him have but some fun with that been doing you know these films for decades right but this is one of these films where wow he just really you know he went for it and he really gave mm -hmm. it his all in acting some yeah. of these emotional wrenching scenes oh my god i mean just even you uh. know like, the miss, you know, like there's a scene in the temple where both mm -hmm. him and his mother are there, but don't know who each other are. And they yeah. both hear the sound of a train and they both look with sadness towards mm. the train. Yeah. Oh, that was so <laughs> good. And those, that's what's so great about this movie. It's not about like, again, it's like, and we were talking about the violence. Yes, you'll get your violence. Don't worry. You'll get it. But at the same time, it's like, I love that the little scenes are the ones that are really standing out most powerful, like her seeing the cloth or like you're saying them both looking at the train and both of them knowing, but not knowing who each other are like these little tiny things. Oh God. I just love that. Like when you see that happen, you're instantly like, you're getting the emotional connection. You're getting, like you're saying the stakes. It's not just like, where's the next fight scene. I want to be thrilled. Show me the next thing. You know, it's just like, I love that they, that you want to just see it play out. Like, can yeah. tell me more like i want to know about these people's backgrounds you know so that that was me really good storytelling because they're they're letting you wait a little bit not a lot there's still tons of stuff going on in it but you're getting those moments to breathe and see those little scenes that mean so much and i just thought right. that was so well done so artful and that, i mean I the like crazy that. thing is at the time this was the most expensive south indian film that had ever been made at the time of its release Wow. And I don't I feel like they say that about every Indian film that comes out. They always say it's the most expensive movie ever made. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad though. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. But I mean, you think about, you know, Money Rotnam has been pushing the envelope. I mean, you've seen Punny and Solvent. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's yeah, like yeah. this is a man that has yeah. like he goes for it and is like, no, I'm not gonna make these little films. Okay, we did see okay Convenient. I guess you could say that's a smaller that's true. Film, that's true. But, right. <laughs> but he also just can make these just enormous films with yeah. layers to them. Yep. Um, yeah, and he said so this film was not marketed as being a Mahabharata retelling. Um, he oh, okay. said he said it's at a layer below and it's not crying out loud, you know, like he didn't want right, it's there if you're looking for it. Yeah. Um, the other interesting thing is about this film is um, the South Indian uh, director, Atli, who's going to be um, doing Jawan, Shah Rukh Khan's um, upcoming Hindi film. Oh, okay. uh, this film was his main inspiration for wanting to become a filmmaker. So oh, I thought... Okay. <laughs> so, That's cool. Yeah. I mean, I really mm -hmm. like the cinematography in this film, too. Um, yeah. um, the Santosh Shivan like I said, has gone on to make and do get other award-winning national, you know, mm -hmm. films or award-winning films. And right. you know, there's just something also special about this. It's not just every day, like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know, like, okay, like, <laughs> let's hit us over the head with the sun imagery, but it's so gorgeous. <laughs> like it's but it's fine. Yeah, this it's part of the shtick. Like it was shit, just did it. It was shameless and I loved it. <laughs> yeah. And I <laughs> do I it mean, for us. It's not mainly the women's story, but there are several strong women characters yeah. in the film. So, you know, we have Shobhana's character, um, and then we have um, Sri Vidya, who's playing Kalyani, um, mm -hmm. Rajakhan's mother, of course, as the way it is. I think she's like, I can't remember if she's three years older or three years younger than Rajakhan <laughs> was playing his mother, but okay. She <laughs> I was thought awesome. that was funny. <laughs> 
<laughs> I know I kept thinking, like, is he gonna marry her? <laughs> oh wait, this is mom. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll put the gray in. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and um, Banupriya played uh, Padma, who became um, Rajakant Surya's wife, and it, and I thought that was also an interesting. It's like, yeah. I mean, you could have a whole movie just about what happened with yeah. them, right? That he yeah, killed totally. her husband. And then yeah. because everyone is harassing her because she's a widow and Mooch is like, okay, I'm going to solve this problem. You do Fine. This. You're going to get married right now. Just put the powder on. We're done. <laughs> That's like, wait, what? <laughs> That's so funny. He was just trying to help. <laughs> right. And, but then he's just like, I'm going to protect you. And then she just yeah. sees, I mean, you know, they reach a new level of their relationship. She sees how yeah. he is with her daughter. Yeah. you know how he loving he is and he's like i'm not yeah. expecting anything i'm just going to protect you i'm just going to be here but she becomes a catalyst to get his mother and him together i mean she's the one that said hey here wear this cloth and let's go to this clinic right so That's like true. she she's the one that's the catalyst mm -hmm. and and wanting to do that for him so yeah, that's, I mean, that's true. like I said, you could have just a whole movie just about them and it's just one yeah. small part of this whole it's that great, you know, they, they made it very emotionally complex and you cared. So you did want to know more about it. It wasn't just like, oh, here's the side story. No one cares. Like they, they brought extra to that. And, right. and, you know, I mean, even Pony and Selvin, they did that. Like you cared yeah. more. I mean, probably in two, the women had more to do, but it's like, they definitely made you care a little bit more about what's going on in the background, which now I'm seeing, it must be like his, his uh, style because the violence is again, insane in both films but you're almost caring more about like you're saying the stories behind the scene what happened to this story show me more of this one like you're saying make a whole movie about <laughs> about them like yeah. you can see that and i wanted more of that so that to me is a really good filmmaker because they make you want more and you cared right. and that, right. that's that's more than you can ask for most movies <laughs> so oh. well we can go on and we can see some other there's so many roger kind of movies to choose yeah. from to do some other Apparently. ones when i suggested you were like wait this is that robot guy <laughs> i know i was like what this is the same actor <laughs> i could not believe it i mean that was one of the first things that people said to watch that you know people were not even, not the first thing but everybody was saying watch robot right you know, react to the trailer i'm like what is this crazy and when i watched it, i'm like what is this crazy thing and he looks so stylized and wacky i did not recognize him at all <laughs> I thought part of it was just the just makeup saw, and the affect. You just saw the trailer for that and not not the whole movie, right? People said not to watch the whole movie. I, you know, I should watch oh, the whole movie. It's actually I, insane and crazy. And I, just, I, I do want to see it. Everybody's like, don't watch it, do watch it. Don't watch it, do watch it. I mean, okay, but there's so many to watch. Like, so many. I think I do need to see that, though. It's Now that I know, now I have a much broader picture of who the actor is. Now I'm very intrigued to see how he handles this crazy movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's like so a bad. double role because he plays kind of the mad scientist that makes the robot, and then he's also the robot. <laughs> <laughs> and just the man who created the monster becomes the monster. <laughs> but I mean, and it's not. It's not just. Um, it's not just that 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 he's you know like you say very stylized and looking like the robot. Yes. It's also that the way the action sequences are filmed are just insane. Like. They're beyond, <laughs> they're just beyond. And so I'm like, you're almost like laughing because it's so crazy and over yeah. the top and insane and wonderful. Like, it's just it awesome. <laughs> so creative. Like, even in all this time, all the movies you've seen and all the special effects, I have never seen anything like that. Even like the trailer, I'm looking at going, who thought of this? This is craziness. <laughs> what the hell? So yeah, now I... Now, having seen this, which I'm really glad I saw it before I saw that, because I, then I wasn't distracted by this is the same guy in Robot, which I did not know till later. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad. And then also having seen all these new uh, trailers that he's in, uh, the new glimpses and seeing that and knowing the whole backstory now of him and that and how freaking cool he is. Yeah, <laughs> he is and like you said, the cigarette. And, yeah, I love that. He's, he's, now, a whole new appreciation. Yeah, I mean, he just, uh, he's a legend for a reason. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> He is a legend for that. So. And I love that they can still, and they're still legends. Like, I, I feel like there's not as much ageism with some of these guys that there is in some American films where Tom Cruise is still, still making it happen, but it's a big part of it is he's making himself look like he does not age. <laughs> That's mm. just part of it. I love that there's older actors, like even if it's like Liam Neeson, 
these guys who are older, but still making it happen and still being well, right. vital I mean, and exciting, you know, like that's cool that yeah. that's still, they're still being applauded for that. And I love well, that. Yeah. Liam Neeson, if people don't know, he's the one from all the Taken films. Yeah. And so he was known as being like this indie film actor, yeah. you know, really serious actor. Yeah. And then in his 60s became an action yeah. star, like craziness, right? Like it was just yeah. like, and then how about and it was, it was a radical choice at the time, you know? It was like they were like, why is Liam Neeson doing this movie? And then it became like his trademark. <laughs> Right. Well, and then how about Harrison Ford? He's in his yes, age. Harrison Ford. Okay, mm -hmm. like, he, and he's. I mean, obviously they de-aged him. They did all sorts of CGI and whatever. But yeah, so. but still, <laughs> and he's still look. He's still amazing. And I mean, I saw him in that TV show, Shrinking. You know, the streaming show. Yeah. He's still great, even when he's not doing action. Like he's still a very very compelling magnetic actor and so i love that that this is happening a lot here too because here's this guy who's you know in his 70s but he's still doing full-on action movies and they're like embracing it and i love that that's so cool yeah. they can keep doing that that's good and it gets crazier and crazier i mean the trailer for that we had just saw where he's sitting in front of the tank it's crazy <laughs> I'm like, see, I want a, I want a video of me doing something that cool. <laughs> That's what I, I mean, That's the thing. I, I just know I could never like, you know, like someone who has the presence to make a crowd scream just by sitting in a chair and, and flipping a cigarette or whatever. Like, I mean, he just love that. It's right? so funny. <laughs> <laughs> he came in and took off his sunglasses or put them on and everybody's like, blah. Yes, exactly, so good. exactly. Yes. and they're very cool sunglasses he looks damn good <laughs> so he looks really good and they all say the best wigs in the business and i'm like they are because i did not know that was a wig at that <laughs> so it is a very good wig yeah very good wigs <laughs> very good wigs <laughs> but i don't think he's wearing a wig in this even though his hair was spectacular it still is I like i don't know well let's look at some of the posters and discuss <laughs> oh yeah let's look at this discuss the hair shall we we're talking about girl talk let's talk about okay, hair I think this is probably one of the most famous posters and they like oh, yeah. superimposed mamuti looking over your shoulder but yeah. this is that scene yeah. in the film where he kind of drives his girlfriend away just kind of like yeah, yeah let's go marry the other guy you know yeah go ahead <laughs> Do what uh, you need to do. So it's in a very intense scene in the movie, and again, yeah. filmed with great face. the sun behind him. Um, yeah, crazy, crazy great. hair. Yeah, yep, <laughs> crazy hair, big man. hair. But I know I've talked about hair before, but this is this is some kind of hair right here. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Only Roger Cut. Oh, I know. It's insane. <laughs> The hell? Then, um, oh, yeah. oh, this is nice. Released for like the 30th anniversary of the film. I mean, this kind of shows this one is actually interesting in that it's showing Mamut yeah. bigger, even yeah. if um, Rajkanth is in the middle of the uh, frame. So, he got the gun, though. He got the gun, it's pointing at us. So, he, even though he is smaller, he is the focus of this entire poster. It's like, a, and this is definitely modern because you can see by the treatment and the illustration, just the style they made this poster as a newer poster. Because, okay, this, see, yeah. so I, I, I saw something else that said 30th anniversary on this, so I had a feeling yeah. that this was that's a really nice poster. Foreign. I don't know if oh, it's yeah. the time, um, um but yeah, that's me kind of showing again all of the all of the actors and then montage in the in the train smoke because the train oh, is a catalyst for everything smoke. right oh yes so it's like this is like everything happened because of this one train technically <laughs> there's so many money rotten films where a train is absolutely pivotal to Love i mean that. even okay con mini their first meeting yeah that's true in, in the train station so yeah you're right he's known that's interesting he's known he likes trains that. It's a most funny. Now this. Oh, uh, here we go. Like 1991. <laughs> 19. We didn't even talk about um, our our main villain there, done as dubbed in the film with by a Tamil actor. But again, like if you're gonna bring in a villain, who are you gonna call? He was good. Hey, you guy, call? He was great, and he looks like a villain, even when he's not acting like a villain. He's full of villain all the time. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I know he came on the scene. It. I'm like, don't trust him. <laughs> but I mean, this is a showing like Rajnikant's character, just like, I'm going to beat the ever living out of you. You're not going to survive know, like, this. No. Oh, and also that big assassination scene at the end. Holy shit, that was great. 
Yeah. Not good. Yeah. People getting sliced <laughs> up. A lot of slicing going on. <laughs> Surprise! You're being accused. You're being killed. Wait, what? <laughs> What's happening? This isn't what I was planning. <laughs> that was so funny. It wasn't funny. It was tragic, but I was, you know, I appreciated it. <laughs> it was, so, yeah. Similar. I mean, it was so pretty epic. It was so pretty epic. It All was right. epic. It was really was. It was good. Those are great. And this this looks like one of the older posters. It looks like a um a photo composite, which we used to do back in the day. They used to because okay. you didn't have Photoshop, so they had to do everything physically. You have to cut out the photo, oh, glue I them together, that. do oh, a little airbrush, you know, so you can kind of tell us like that. But see, that's cool. I feel like that's going to kind of come back because I think people are going to get sick of AI and all this Photoshop looking stuff. So it's going to get very analog again. We're going to have mm -hmm. a trend, I think. <laughs> well, that could be, yeah, like you say, people, I, I mean, know. why do people like, for instance, um, just raw kind of TikTok? kind of yeah it appeal because it's not all massive produced that's just raw that's right. and feels real right is a, a real person real moment yeah but don't put borax in your in your drink <laughs> that they're telling you to do on tiktok <laughs> don't listen to anyone on tiktok for health things i'm just saying <laughs> this is not a good idea all right well this is your first stretch account but hopefully the first of many and let me just tell you I mean, I don't know anything about how good this upcoming film is going to be, but I will tell you going first day to a Russian kind of film is something. Oh, different. yeah. I mean, just imagine his insane fans just whistling and whistling, and it's always the big hero entrance. And just like it is, it is really something, something uh, else. I'm just telling you. <laughs> It's funny because even if you're not in that audience, you can tell. Yeah, I've seen some films where you can tell the entrance scene is for the applause, and you can tell they kind of leave it a little yeah. moment. Like yeah. when they come in, you're like, "Here's your chance." People start cheering. I love that. Even just knowing it, even if they're not in, I'm gonna try and find though. I want to hear that re response because seeing RRR in the theater, I saw it like when it first came out. Yeah, and then I went to America discovered it finally. Right. <laughs> worldwide phenomena and so they had a special fan screening that i went to at a beautiful historic theater downtown and the fans were crazy and everybody was cheering and yelling at each other and reciting lines and it's like this is what i like this this is cool to see that movie in that context i feel like this is what they do in these movies all the time i love that in right. theaters in america we're all be quiet which is good most right. of the time in theaters in america we are not like that unless it's sort of like I don't know, a cult favorite and people yeah. are re-showing it. I mean, yes. people were like that about the film Recky Horror or like their single yeah. to films like Sound of yeah. Music or something like that where people interact with the screen. But you're yeah. right. We don't, you know, cheer the hero when he comes on or a favorite actor. Don't boot the that. villain. Unless you're <laughs> sometimes I'm just going, <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I'll do a little, yay. <laughs> or get up and dance like in front like that's why i think this was such a big deal that, that blew america's mind when they saw the footage of people at these screenings of everyone's getting up and dancing and doing stuff and they're like what is this movie i need to figure this out i want to go see this strictly because the audience reaction was so crazy and it was so fun to see that i loved it and yeah. that's why i i want to definitely oh you froze are you there oh you're frozen oh am i there you're back. You're back. Okay. Okay. Was I frozen? I was going on with me. Um, but I do want to see it in a theater so I can uh, appreciate the the entrance just to yeah. see how that works. I would want to almost videotape that secretly so I could <laughs> they hear it. We did it in America. We did it. We applauded him when he came on the screen. <laughs> All so right. Funny. Great. Well, thanks for Kathy for joining me yes. and talking about this classic Money Rutnam Hummel film. Mm -hmm. To me, it's a masterpiece. It's one of my um, favorites, and so I'm glad uh, to introduce Rajan Kanth, also the great actor, and Mamuti again, uh, the man in the like, same movie. Right? Oh my god, <laughs> I know this is definitely when people want to see Indian films. I wouldn't say it first, but I would say as you see more Indian films, absolutely watch this movie. Like, this will be in the top 10 of movies people need to watch because I think people will appreciate the gangster aspect, mm. I think it'll be relatable the emotional aspects of it. I think even though it gets a little rough around the edges because of its age, it's still like such a powerful film that it's like, this is how you make films that last forever. <laughs> you make them matter. That make you, know? you feel. That make you yes. feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. All right. Thanks, Kathy. You can right. find, Thank you. you. You can find me, of course, um, on Twitter as long as it exists or X or whatever it's called now. <laughs> I know. What is it, guy? I don't know. At Pardaisy YT. You can find me on threads and Instagram at Pardaisy Reviews. And you can find Kathy on her YouTube channel, Cinemana Podcast. 
and all of her social handles are called Cinemata Podcast. <laughs> Cinemata something. Pod Podcast. They're everywhere. You can find us. Don't worry. <laughs> all right. Thanks again, Candy. Bye. Bye.